Hello, hello, hello. We're doing another one of those amazing movie reviews that nobody wants to watch. That's really cool. Do you know why? I'm doing it because I want to talk about movies because I really like movies. And hopefully it'll help you decide what to watch on Netflix or something like that. Now, in the previous video, I did uh, a film called The Hunt, which was released in 2020, in which people were being hunted by people. Wow, isn't that weird? Um, so I got to thinking, what would make a, an interesting double bill? with the hunt uh, and I come from it from a different angle there were a number like I said was in I said in that video there was a number of films in the in the 80s um, exploitation films where people being hunted more like kind of horror films I suppose a horror aspect to it um, but they were they were exploitation films and I thought well I could go down that road but that would be boring and predictable so why don't I come at it from a different angle completely and look at a film that one I really like and two has people being hunted by other people and so we're doing Southern Comfort from 1981 it stars Keith Carradine Powers Booth uh, um, Fred Ward among other people music by Ry Kudo wow wow I did this before uh, Paris Texas I believe and it was directed by Walter Hill which is also written co-written by and David Guiler. Walter Hill and David Guiler are probably better known for their work on Alien. Uh, Walter Hill basically knocked that script into shape and it was their uh, Guiler and Hill's Brandywine Productions that produced the movie Alien. He, he didn't direct it, he got some bloke Ridley something uh, to direct that one. But he also directed a load of other films. I mean, again, Walter Hill is, uh, is a, a bit of a legend. He directed The Warriors, um, uh, 48 hours another 48 hours red heat you know many 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 movies he was involved in and this one southern comfort is a film i remember seeing back in the day and i've, I've again whenever it's on or wherever around i do watch it um and yeah it's about people being hunted um it's about the um louisiana national guard uh, I guess you could, I, don't, I guess I don't know if they're like the territorial army in the UK, um, but they're doing weekend manoeuvres in the bayou, uh, <laughs> you know. So that's why you got that wow wow, the twangy guitar from Raikuda setting up the movie, um, and yeah, they're off on manoeuvres, and they upset the local population. You know, the bayou folk who uh, they. They speak. They speak in like, was it French Canadian? Like Cajun. It's like Cajun uh, uh, country, and they upset the locals, and they end up being picked off one by one by an, well, an unseen assailant or assailants. Um, and it's a thriller, and it's a it's an edge of the seat stuff. Now I could have put this in the same basket as Deliverance, but you know. They're a bit too samey, you know. There's, I mean, because it's you know, man against the elements. Because you know, the elements do kind of um, draw into this. You know, being in the in the in the swamp country, but it's a again, it's a very atmospheric movie and very tense. And you don't know again, you don't know how it's going to pan out. You don't know who's necessarily going to. I mean, there are certain you know stereotypes. You think. He's gonna get it. <laughs> He's gonna get it. He, you know. And it, but it's. Um, have you seen? Have you seen that film? What's that film? With Arnold in it. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Predator. It's a bit like Predator. I think they watched Southern Comfort and thought, "We'll do Southern Comfort, but with an alien." You know. Southern Comfort, I think, is a very important, very very important film. Um, and like I say, it's, it it shows you when. I guess you could call them city folk. When when city folk, you know, go blundering in to areas that they're not necessarily familiar with, and uh, you know, and upset people, and are disrespectful, and and that's the consequences of this. So it's a real cult. It's a movie of culture clashes, but of course, the uh, reaction of the locals is is disproportionate. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any tension. It wouldn't be a thriller, and it wouldn't be a movie. Um, <laughs> so, but you do get to see, you know. Cajun culture and what they do, and you know, and what kind of people, you know, are like. And I think, I think, 
it treats um, the idea of these these people is that although they are different, it does treat them with respect. You know, they're not. I don't think they're um, uh, stereotypes or anything. It certainly was an education when I was a boy watching it because, you know, back in those days we weren't necessarily familiar with American culture and different parts of America. So, you know, that's always fascinated me. Um, but, yeah, it's one of those films where you go, well, they shouldn't have, if, if so-and-so hadn't have done that, then this wouldn't have happened. It's, an act, it's a film of consequences. And, again, some of the characters are likeable and some of them are dislikable. And it doesn't always uh, go the way you think it is, and um, yeah, it's a it's a um, edge of the seat thriller. And I recommend it again. I, it's probably one that's been probably forgotten now, but I remember at the time it was big. When I was at school, I remember people saying, "Oh, have you seen Southern Comfort?" You know, it's a really good, really good film. And again, I think as time goes on and our memories become dim, you know, the films kind of get lost in the mists of time. So, you know, go and check it out because it's got a really good cast. Uh, Walt Hill is a, is, a, is a movie legend with his direction and writing. So, yeah, the, the soundtrack is brilliant as well. Really makes the movie. So, again, Ry Cooder is somebody who, you know, like I said, did the soundtrack to another film called Paris, Texas, which maybe one day we'll talk about. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Give it, give it a watch. Watch The Hunt and then watch this one. It's a good double bill for you. And, um, yeah, you can see you should always treat the land and people with respect. You know, tread gently, dear son, tread gently. <laughs> because you never know. <laughs> you never know who you're going to upset. But, yeah, again, it's a, it's a movie of its time. And, again, I don't think, I don't think now... Um, you probably get a movie like this because of you know Dead Sea as being politically incorrect. It's not that it's a politically incorrect film. I don't think it is. I just think people could be a lot more braver with their story choices. Um, you see the hassle that The Hunt got. Let's see, this would get the same. This would get the same hassle because you know our, we're in a strange cultural morass at the moment, and you know it means that choices are limited creative choices are limited because people don't want to be seen as offensive sometimes you've got to offend sometimes it's got to be questionable otherwise there's no tension you get it <laughs> and that's the that's the problem with a lot of movies today is it's like yeah yeah mm. motivation motivation is a problem but there's a, lot, there's a lot of motivation in this and yeah a genuine genuinely shocking film in places and not necessarily the film you think it's going to be when it starts and how it resolves itself. So give it, give it, a, give it a try. So seek this one out again. I don't know where you'd find it. Maybe it's on Netflix. I don't know. Maybe it's not. But yeah, Southern Comfort, 1981, um, directed by Walter Hill, starring Keith Carradine, Powers Booth, Fred Ward, among other people. And uh, yeah, I, th I think you'll enjoy it. It's just over 90 minutes, 105 minutes. So yeah in that sweet spot in that very 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 sweet zone of not wasting your time you know so go and hunt that one down thank you for watching my name is Darren Lock. I've been talking about Southern Comfort which is a movie from many 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 years ago about people being hunted by people exciting stuff um, and that's it thanks for watching there's only one more thing left to say but I know you should know what that is and that is you ready? Okay, should we do it? Ta-da.